Hello my foxes and welcome back to another 1 to 99 full ass guide simplified. Today's guide is going to be for Hunter, so let's jump right in. Thanks a ton for all your support guys, I really appreciate it. So there's actually going to be three sections to this guide. One, efficient, two, fastest, and the third is other methods, quests. Here's a list of all the quests that grant Hunter XP, but there are faster and easier things to do to get your early levels. Efficient method. Honestly, it's recommended to not actively train your hunter since birdhouses give a ton of XP for about 5 minutes worth of your time, making it more efficient to train something else actively and do your birdhouse runs. Levels 1 to 9, Natural History Quiz. This quest grants 1000 XP which will get you from level 1 to 9. It's located in the bottom of the Varok Museum and if you have Runelight with Quest Helper, it will give you the answers. Levels 9 through 44, or 80, or 99, birdhouses. You must have completed Bon Voyage for access to Fossil Island. You'll need 40 seeds, a hammer, chisel, and 4 level appropriate logs with 4 clockwork mechanisms. You can craft the clockworks on a POH's workbench or buy them off the GE. Then it's as simple as running to all 4 birdhouse spots, building your birdhouse, filling it with seed, and returning 50 minutes later to dismantle them for a large chunk of XP and various other rewards like bird nests and even clue scrolls. Levels 44 to 99 at Driftnet Fishing. You must have completed Bowen Voyage to access the underwater area for Driftnet Fishing. It's recommended to bring your fishbowl helmet and diving apparatus from the quest Freeing Pirate Pete subquest of Recipe for Disaster. This is also a two birds one stone scenario as it's recommended to train Hunter and Fishing until Hunter no longer needs to be trained and then switch to a faster method for training Fishing. Though there are other methods that are faster, some find it more efficient to train two skills at once. Fastest methods. It's recommended to use a hunter potion just before level 20, 40, 60, and 80, which will allow you to set an additional trap, increasing your XP gains. Levels 1 to 9, the natural history quiz. This one is just so easy to do and quick, it's definitely worth it. Plus, you'll want the kudos you can receive to be able to open that fence to the dig site later on down the road. Levels 1 to 7, polar kebits. These guys are found in the Relica Hunter area northeast of Relica. If, for whatever reason, doing the natural history quiz isn't on your list, which it should be, you can catch polar kebits. You'll need a new swan from a hunter shop to catch them, which is actually beneficial for Iron Man as you can use, therefore, to make warm clothing and head off to Wintertide. You will need to catch 22 to reach level 7. Levels 7 through 15, Felled Up Weasels. You can find them in the Felled Up Hunter area south of Yanil. You'll need a new swan for these guys too. Wearing a ring of pursuit is recommended as it has a 25% chance of revealing the entire track. You'll need to catch 37 of these guys to reach level 15. Levels 15 to 29, Ruby Harvest and Copper Longtails. Located in the Picatorus Hunter area, you can use the Fairy Ring AKQ to get here. You'll want to bring bird snares, a butterfly net, some butterfly jars, and a stamina potion. Set up the bird snares and catch butterflies while you wait. This should be about 17,000-18,000 XP per hour. Levels 29 to 43, Swamp Lizards. Found southeast of Canifis, and you can use the fairy ring code ALQ to get you closer. You'll need a rope and some small fishing nets for each trap. It's recommended to drop the lizards as soon as you can. Starting at level 29, you can see around 20,000 XP per hour, ranging up at level 37, using hunter potions and three traps, to about 40,000 to 45,000 XP per hour. Levels 43 to 60, Falconry. Here, you'll use a falcon to catch spotted kebits or dark kebits at level 57. They are located in the Picatorus falconry area, Fairy Ring AKQ. You will need 500 GP and must have your hand, weapon, and shield slots empty to use the falcon. It's recommended to wear full graceful, bring your stamina pots and bone crusher if you have it, to reduce the amount of items you're having to drop, and it's some free prayer XP, so definitely worth it. At level 43, you can see up to 60,000 XP per hour, at level 56, it's about 70,000 XP per hour, and it increases at level 57 to about 75,000 80,000 XP per hour. Note that it saves time to run closer to your targets before using the Falcon, as if it fails, it reduces its flyback time. Level 60 to 67, Red Salamanders. These can be found just south of the Aronia Cave. Aronia Teleport requiring level 71 magic and the Lunar Spellbook or teleporting to Castle Wars can get you here relatively quickly. You should take 5 ropes and 5 nets and use the south trees so you can reset traps as you go. At level 60 you can see up to 80,000-85,000 XP per hour, and at level 67 it's about 100,000-106,000 to 106 XP per hour here. 
Level 67 to 73, Black Salamanders. These guys are located in the Boneyard Hunter area in the wilderness. The Chaos Temple teleport is the fastest way here. Though you can be attacked here, it's unlikely, and you can teleport away. It's recommended to bring 5 ropes and nets since you can set an additional trap past level 64 in the wilderness. Consider bringing an extra set to reset traps as you dismantle them. Also recommended to bring hunter potions and harlander tar and lit torches to increase your catch rate by 5%. Level 67 you can see about 105 to 115,000 XP per hour. At 73 it increases to about 115,000 to 125,000 XP per hour. And at level 79 you can see around 140,000 XP per hour, but you'd need good concentration. While at level 80 it's about 150,000 XP per hour while running 6 traps. Level 73 to 99, Black Chinchampas. You must have completed Eagle's Peak quest to be able to set box traps. The fastest way here is to use a Wilderness Obelisk. It's located in the 3236 Wilderness and it's a popular player killer hotspot. It's recommended to use a bow to shoot the stray Chinchampas so new ones will spawn closer to your box traps. You will need to catch 38,228 Black Chinchampas to get from level 73 to 99 or 35,075 Black Chinchampas from level 80 to 99. That's a lot of information, and this is simplified, and we're still not done. Okay, so time for our last section, other methods. Levels 15 to 20 sandworms. They are located north of Tainan's fishing supplies in Port Piscorilius. You will need to be 15 hunter and have 30% Port Piscorilius favor to collect buckets of sandworms to turn in for favor. You will also need a bucket and spade for this. Each bucket is 10 XP and give 0.2% favor. It's about 5,000 XP per hour. Levels 35 to 99, Aerial Fishing. You can do this on Mulch Island. This trains hunter and fishing as well and grants some passive cooking XP too. You need 43 fishing and 35 hunter to start this and though it's not the fastest method, it is viable if you need to train both still. Levels 37 to 43, Prickly Kebits. These guys are found in the Piscatoris Hunter area, Fairy Ring AKQ, and you'll need a knife and an axe for these deadfall traps. It's also worth noting that if you bring a chisel and are at least level 32, you can turn the kebit spikes into bolts which saves time from having to drop them and should bring in some decent GP. It's roughly 20,000 XP per hour here. Levels 47 to 59, Orange Salamanders. You can use the Fairy Ring code DLQ and run north to get here. This method is less XP but it's also less click intensive. Bring 3 small fishing nets, 3 ropes, as well as 10 to 14 water skins that are full, and desert clothing. You can see about 40,000 to 50,000 XP per hour depending on performance and level. You will need to catch 772 orange salamanders for levels 47 to 59. Level 60 to 99 maniacal monkeys. You must complete Monkey Madness 2 for access to Crux Dungeon. You will also need bananas for bait, so having bones to banana runes or tabs is necessary. Since you need to climb a gorilla for this method, it is recommended to bring tabs as you can break the tabs on his back but have to leave the area to be able to cast the spell instead. At level 60, you can gain around 50,000 to 65,000 XP per hour, up to around 80,000 to 90,000 XP per hour at higher levels, while at level 99, it is possible to gain up to 120,000 XP per hour if you're using bones to bananas. Level 69 or 80 to 99, Carnivorous and Chompas. You will need to partially complete Eagle's Peak quest to be able to set box traps. This is a great alternative to hunting black chinchampas in the wilderness. It's decent XP and can be profitable. You must complete Song of the Elves for the Gwyneth Hunter area or do the hard task of the Western Provinces Diary for access to the Red Chinchampa Hunter area as regular spots tend to be overpopulated. It's worth noting the rates are significantly reduced before level 80 so it's recommended to do just about anything else to get to 80 before this. Levels 80 to 99, Herbivore. You must complete Bon Voyage for access to Fossil Island. Along with 80 Hunter, you'll need 31 Herb Lore. You will get both Hunter and Herb Lore XP depending on how many herbs you've collected, so it's recommended to wear your Magic Secateurs. At level 80, you can expect to gain up to 120,000 XP per hour, rising to about 140 to 150,000 XP per hour at higher levels, and while at 99, you can see up to 165,000 XP per hour, with a chance at the Herby pet being at 1 out of 6,500. Alright guys, this was one long ass guide. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.